hello guys welcome and welcome back to my youtube channel it's your girl kinesthetic with the kinesthetics and i'm here with you guys today with a new video so today's video is going to be a get ready with me four in one i'm going to show you guys how i do my hair makeup outfit and fragrance for dinner tonight i am heading out to a dinner so i was like let me go ahead and get ready with you guys on camera it's friday i'm feeling good i'm smelling great and i'm about to look great i mean i already look great but i'm about to look great to her okay so if you guys are interested in seeing my finished look then go ahead and keep on watching also before we get started do not forget to subscribe to my youtube channel Know, hit that red subscribe button down below and join the family give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoy drop a comment down below and without further ado let's go ahead and get started so first today we're gonna do here hold on it's currently 504 and i'm supposed to be there by seven so i have to leave my house by like eight the latest i mean eight <laughs> by six the latest what type of math am i doing but the first thing i'm going to do is like half of my hair so before i do my makeup whenever i want to slick my edges i like to slick my edges first so the product that i use to slick my edges is vante i get this product from amazon okay the camera doesn't want to focus the camera doesn't want to give y'all a tea but i get this from amazon and this is the only product that holds my edges and doesn't break my hairline out y'all know i break out from ear so I'm gonna go ahead and just slick my edges real quick and i'm also recording a reel for instagram at the same time so if you guys want to see that reel make sure you guys head over to my instagram at kinesthetic underscore so you guys can check out that reel but yeah i'm just gonna go ahead and slick my edges real quick using my vante and i'm just gonna use the ends of a tail comb to get like that nice precise look i don't even have a mirror hold on oh your girl got paid today okay don't play with her she's not one of them And this product does dry quickly, so you kind of have to work a little <laughs> fast. Okay, that's as creative as we're going to get with the edges, okay? Don't watch that. Don't look too closely. So now we're going to move into the makeup. So as you guys may or may not know, I do have acne prone skin. I have dark spots. I have hyperpigmentation. I do a ton of makeup videos on my channel about doing your makeup if you suffer with the same skin concerns. So if you guys want to check it out, I'll link the playlist up above. But I'm about to start my makeup application it's pretty much going to be the same as always i walk you guys through the products that i'm using okay so the first thing i'm going to do is prime my face and i'm going to use my fenty primer fenty beauty primer this is their true matte primer this is bay especially since my skin be listen this has been working let me put y'all up because y'all can see the mess this primer works so well on my skin right now so i'm gonna go ahead and work it in Not me forgetting that I have edges. And I also haven't recorded a Get Ready With Me video in a while. Because when I've been going out lately, I've been in a rush. So, I usually just do what I have to do and then dip. So, I like to set my primer with setting powder in the summertime. When it's hot outside because my makeup just tends to last longer. So, I'm going to take my Huda Beauty Kunafa setting powder. In case you guys don't know... This is Bay, and they do have the mini size, so if you want to try it out before you go ahead and spurge your coin, you can do that too. But I just take the powder and just set my whole face. And it doesn't matter, like, to me if this powder is lighter, as you guys can see, because we still have other steps to do. But this just helps to hold everything that's going to be placed on top of it throughout the night. Because I don't even know what time I'm coming home, girl, okay? 
Not me choking on a setting powder, girl. Set them brows. Because my brow area gets so moist throughout the day. So I just like to set her a little extra. And I should have mentioned that before I did my makeup. I have went ahead and reapplied SPF on my skin. Because I did my skincare this morning at like 8, 9 a.m. But you have to reapply your SPF throughout the day. No matter if it's cold outside, hot outside, sunny outside, you should be reapplying your SPF throughout the day. So I have went ahead and reapplied my SPF before I got in the... I look crazy. Before I had gotten in the shower. So I just wanted to say that as far as skin prep because I didn't show you guys. Now I'm going to go on my Lancome Teens Ideal Con Concealer. Concealer. I did a review on this concealer and I have not been able to put this concealer down since I did that review. So with all of that said, if you haven't tried this concealer, try it out. It's so freaking good. It gives so much coverage. And in the review, I did show you guys me using it on its own but i have been using it with the foundation just to give me more coverage and to give me more of that snatch look which i like so i'm about to show y'all what i mean by it but make sure you guys check out that review i told you guys more details about this concealer so check that out So I just use that to cover my dark marks. So Ooh, I miss my forehead, girl. And then I'm gonna use this Real Techniques brush to go ahead and just blend it out. This concealer does dry quickly, so you gotta you gotta work on her schedule, not on your schedule. So I'm just gonna go ahead and blend the concealer out. It doesn't have to be perfect because we're going to go over with the foundation as I mentioned. But if you were just using this concealer on its own, you have to blend her out real good, real, real good. Ooh. This lighting is so tricky because the sun is like setting, but like fake setting, not real setting. So... So now I'm going to go in with my Fenty Beauty. This is the Brow MVP Sculpting Brow Wax Pencil and Styler. I love this product in case you guys don't know. I've still been using it behind the scenes. But I'm just going to go ahead and use that to prep my brows. I like to use this to like prep my brows before I fill them in. Just so that I can see like the area that I need to fill in. So I just use this and just brush my brow hairs upward so they're not like droopy or none of that. This is also great if you have like thick brows and you don't necessarily want to fill them in. This product is great because you can just go ahead and just push up, push up your brows and be done. Like if I have a meeting and I want my brows to look half decent, I just take this and brush my brows up and I'm ready. And I'm ready. So I'm going to let that sit. I like to do this in advance of me doing my brows. Because it does take a while to like dry down. So it's not like slipping and sliding as you apply your brow product. So I like to put that on first. And then I'm going to go in with my foundation. So foundation today I'm going to use my Lancome Tint Edel Foundation in 500. This is basically the foundation to complement the concealer. I find that the foundation has more coverage than the concealer like the concealer is full coverage but the foundation just like seals the deal so i'm gonna go ahead and apply my foundation also i think the foundation applies lighter than the concealer but after the foundation dries out they're the same shade if that makes sense so i don't want to say that because i know i mentioned in the concealer review that they are the same shade and you guys may not see that at first but over time like when the foundation dries down it's the same shade as a concealer to me that's my opinion and in total i use about three pumps of this foundation just to give me the coverage that i like and as you guys may or may not know this foundation is honestly one of my all-time faves Especially if you have acne prone skin because it is also non comedogenic so it doesn't clog your pores either. Love that for us. So I definitely do want to do a video about like my favorite 
foundations for acne prone skin so that's coming real real soon she coming soon because i want to give you guys options of foundations that i've tried that work for me with my acne prone skin because i don't want y'all here wasting your money buying these foundations and they are here clogging your pores why are we paying to get our clogs poured why are we paying to get our pores clogged <laughs> is what i meant to say like it makes no sense no sense at all so that's coming real soon i look real dark right now but it's okay because we're about to get it together so now i'm gonna go back in with my huda powder and instead of concealing to highlight i feel like that just makes my face feel too cakey too heavy especially since it is hot outside i like to just take my setting powder and just apply it in the areas that i would usually like highlight if that makes sense so under my eyes And I'm baking today because when I tell y'all I want my face to stay real snatched, I need my face to stay real snatched. I need a picture and I need my face to be in my picture. So that's why y'all see me putting on more powder than usual because usually I just set. I don't usually bake. So I look ridiculous. So now I'm going to go ahead and just do my brows off all this setting. Can y'all see that in the camera? I promise it's not this. So now I'm going to go ahead and zoom my brows off camera. If you guys want to see how I do my brows, I will link my eyebrow tutorial up above so you guys can see it. But y'all know I cannot talk into my brows. So I'm about to do that off camera real quick and then I'll be right back. So brows are on. Now I'm going to go ahead and set my concealer under my brows using my setting powder. Because I hate when it has like that glossy look underneath. I need everything to be nice and snatched. So now that the powder on my face has set, I'm going to take this Real Techniques stippling brush to just sweep it away. I may have let it set for a little too long, but it's okay. I'm going to show y'all how I fix everything up. So you want to try to sweep away as much as you can. Sweep, sweep, sweep. Sweep, sweep. Boom. So y'all see I look kind of, you know, not my skin complexion. So I'm going to go ahead and take my Fenty Beauty Powder Foundation in the shade 410. So if you guys remember once upon a time aka back in december this was like my skin tone but now that i have a tan it's a little too light so i like to take this and just use that to add like some color back to any areas that are like too powdery from the setting powder and this is just an elf this is an elf electric mood brush it came in a pr package so i'm gonna just pat that powder on and I'm being very specific to the areas I'm applying it. I just want to add some color back to those highlighted areas versus putting it all over my face. And just like that, your girl got some cola, okay? For eyeshadow, I'm keeping it real simple. I'm just using my MAC Cosmetic Saddle. You guys see, this is my favorite. I've had this for years now. It's probably expired, but we don't care about that because it's just going on the eyes. And I just like to take this to pop on my eyelid because it's like my skin, but better. So it adds some dimension on my eyelid. Boom. 
boom y'all see that y'all see the difference this is just flat and this is so get you a a brown eyeshadow that's similar to your skin tone you can also use your bronzer for this especially if you're traveling when i don't want to carry too many things i just use my bronzer and i just get it on and cracking okay so to contour i'm going to use my sephora brand bronzer in the shade abiza and this bronzer is she pigmented so i like to go in with a little bit at a time and just build up because if you put too much it's going to be harder to like erase it what's the takeaway so y'all see flat carved And if I feel like I brought the contour down too much, I just take my sponge and just like erase it. And then I take the brush that we applied the powder foundation with and just like blend that out. And then I take this brush, which is like a little fluffier, just to like blend out that contour so it's not like a direct line or anything. I just diffuse it a bit. To highlight, I'm using my Becca Cosmetics Champagne Pop. This is Bay. I actually need to pick another one up because Becca is going out of business effective September 2021. So if you need anything for Becca, make sure you guys get it. And I know Sephora is doing a lot of um, sales on Becca products as well. So get it while you can. Let me not put it up here because I do not have time for it to be breaking on me, y'all. Bam. So now I'm going to go ahead and set my face using my MAC Fix Plus setting spray. This step is crucial, especially if you use a lot of powders, because it just brings everything together. So I like to go ham. <laughs> ham. Y'all see? So everything is nice and settled. Mm looking good okay so now i'm gonna go ahead and set my brows and i like to use my benefit cosmetics 24 hour brow setter just to set my eyebrow boom and then i'm going to line my lips using Chestnut from MAC Cosmetics. Oh, I'm skipping steps, y'all. I enjoy my lips. And I'm going to wear Bleached from Lime Crime. You can get this from Forever 21. If y'all didn't see my Forever 21 haul, I'll put y'all onto this. This is Bay. I know I need a nice pinky nude liquid lipstick. This is my go-to. I'll let that dry down a bit. And I'm going to go ahead and prep my lashes. So I have on individual lashes right now. But y'all can see they real skimp. So I'm going to go in with my Lily Lashes in the style Paris. Love, love, love these lashes. They're like a perfect everyday. Not doing too much. But still serving the girls a look. Lash. And I'm going to use my House of Lashes Lash Adhesive. The white one. This is Bay. My favorite for putting on lashes. And I'm just going to prep them. So if there's any old glue, I'm just going to go ahead and peel it off. And then once I peel off the old glue, I'm going to go in with a nice, fresh line. I have a reel on my Instagram where I showed you guys how I put my lashes on. So if you guys want details about this, then you guys can check that out. I don't have a detailed lash video on my YouTube channel. If you guys want one, then let me know. 
but I never really felt the need to do one on here because it's really to me one two three because I've been doing this for so long now I've been doing this for so long now I've been doing this for so long now that I am true to this I'm not new to this my battery's dying I hope my other battery for my vlog camera is charged let me go check over right now girl i do not think it was charged because it's charging i was about to be at the house with no camera for my vlogging camera no battery for my vlogging camera hands on my knees shaking ass on my thigh shit fuck when being a thought goes bad and i'm using my capria nyc lash applicator to just pop these on Lashes aren't on. I probably still have to adjust them a bit, but lashes. Now I'm gonna go back in with my lip liner just to clean up. Blend that in. And then I'm gonna top it off with my Fenty Beauty Gloss Balm Cream in the shade Fenty Glow. Y'all, the fit. Tell me that I didn't snap. Tell me that I didn't snap and you will be lying. So I'm gonna go ahead and top my lip with this. Batty loading. So my last step, I'm going to take this bent. What's this on my hand? I'm gonna take my bent eye final seal and just spritz my face. Check face, check face. Now let's go ahead and get dressed. I'm gonna, mm, I take my hair down at the end. So let's go ahead and get dressed. I'm just gonna fix this real quick because my brow looks like it's heading out. Like, my brows look like they're gone. They said, Weezy out of here. And I said, no, no ma'am, no ma'am. And I said, yes ma'am, yes ma'am, this is it. Okay, so... For my outfit today, I'm going to show you guys in my mirror. But I'm wearing the Skims bodysuit from the Outdoor Collection Part 2. I showed you guys in last week's vlog. Let me just show y'all. Don't mind the makeup on the bed. But the cakes, the glutes, uh, gluten, this material is nice and thick. We're going to see how it deals with sweat today because it's kind of hot outside. So this is what I'm wearing. Looking real good. About to get somebody's man upset, okay? Somebody's man, I don't know who's. And then I'm carrying my Louis Vuitton Vanity PM bag. So I'm just going to go ahead and put my beauty essentials in here. So if you guys didn't see my unboxing of this bag, I'll link it up above. But this is one of my favorite bags. And I do have an organizer in it. So I have my hand sanitizer, my key, and my little instructions manual. But I'm just going to go ahead and throw my eyelash glue, my eyelash glue, my eyelash applicator in case they come up, my lippy, where's my liquid lipstick, where's my lip, oh, right here. So all of that is in here. So I'm going to go ahead and finish pack my bag after, but I wanted to... Just take my hair down with you guys. So I'm wearing my hair down in the middle part since my hair is nice, fresh, and retwisted. The girls have to know, okay? The girls have to see. So I'm just laying my hair down. And the fragrance for today is none other than Fenty Beauty's All Day Perfume Bridgetown. If you guys didn't see my review on this, I uploaded it last Friday. So make sure you guys go and check it out. I'll link it up above. But this fragrance is just... Oh, I recorded that video yesterday and I was waiting for this moment. That's low-key why I recorded today's video because I'm like, I haven't got ready with y'all in a while and I really want to just smother myself in this fragrance. I had a long week. I had a long day. I'm about to have a long weekend and I got to start it off right. <laughs> so I'm just going to go ahead and just drench myself in this. Oh my God. Woo. It just make you want to hit the macarina it just make you want to hit your dance one time for the one time okay so let me go ahead and finish get dressed and i'll show you guys my whole outfit and then we will head out 
Okay, she is dressed. So I have on this Skims bodysuit from their outdoor collection part two. Fits real nice. My Louis Vuitton vanity PM bag. And then I'm wearing my Veja sneakers. I just think this is such a cute little dinner, summer, night look. So, yeah. And I did accessorize with my Hermes watch. I don't know if it's going to focus. My Hermes watch. This ring from ASOS. And this ring from Private 21. And then I also have on these earrings from ASOS that you guys see me wear time and time again. But that is basically it for this Get Ready With Me. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I am going to include some video footage after this of my look so you guys can get more of me. Because who can't get enough of me? I don't know. Jono say. So yeah, thank you guys for tuning in. Make sure you guys subscribe. Give this video a big thumbs up. Drop a comment down below. And until my next video, I'll see you guys later. Mwah.